Hello and welcome to another video. Today I'm going to make pasta fagioli in sort of an American style that I learned while I was working at a cafeteria in Olympia, Washington. Now this is another American Italian dish. Um, I find it quite uh, delightful. It's um, basically pasta beans with some seasonings vegetarian, um, tasty, and very, very inexpensive. Now, like a lot of Italian-American food, this dish probably came out of the Great Depression. And it's a little different than some of the Italian varieties that I've heard of. So um, sit back, enjoy, and um, hope that you find this dish as delicious as I do. And now for our ingredients. This is a very simple dish made with great, or sorry, uh, they call these, uh, you know, uh, large white beans. Here's the package before I cooked them, or before I uh, soaked them. Um, basil, pasta, of course, lemon, um, oregano, olive oil, and salt. That's in fact all of our ingredients. Uh, I took the beans and I soaked them. Uh, for Americans, I uh, use great uh, white northern beans. Um, here we would just call these uh, white large beans or weiße reise bonen. Um, so that's our ingredients. These have been soaking uh, overnight and you can see they're fully, fully soaked now and they're actually fairly big. So I've taken the beans and I've drained them. Then I've put them in this pot and I've covered them with water. To this, I am going to add salt. It's worth fairly heavily salting them. The water will be discarded so you don't have to worry about it getting too salty. And then I'm going to go ahead and uh, cook this. And I will cook them until the beans are tender but firm. So the beans have now been simmering for about an hour. And they're now kind of, um, tech they're, they're not um, overly tough anymore. They're still kind of firm, but that's still good. And so I'm going to scoop them out of this water using uh, a, something like a slotted spoon, leaving the uh, bean water in the pot. Now, another thing that could be done would be to, um, I mean, if, if a few beans end up in the pot, it's not the end of the world. They're only going to be there another five minutes or so, and that one kind of looks a little bit... Some of these don't look quite done yet, so I'm going to leave them there. Um, I've already salted this water pretty heavily. So I'm just going to add my pasta to this, and this is about half a pound. And we need a little more water. And because I've added a little more water, we'll add a little more salt. Go ahead and uh, stir this together. So now basically um, we're going to cook the pasta, uh, then we'll strain it. We will then put it back in a skillet with some olive oil, uh, seasonings, and lemon juice. While the pasta is cooking, I'm going to go ahead and uh, take my seasonings here. I have some fresh oregano, and I have some fresh basil. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and chop these finely. Now you can use uh, dry, that's not a problem, but um, in general, if you have fresh, it's better. So it's, 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 it's really simple. We're just going to go ahead and kind of 
And the basil doesn't have to be super finely chopped because as we add it to the skillet, it's going to um, shrink down a bit. So that's fine. For the oregano, oregano has kind of woody stems. So we're gonna strip it from the stems and um, we're gonna chop it. Same basic rule. Uh, the flavor of the oregano goes more heavily into the olive oil. So um, we'll just simply add it first. And again, not worry so much about having it super finely chopped. Although I think it needs to be a little more chopped than the uh, basil for texture reasons. So now um, the pasta's al dente. I'm going to go ahead, I've strained it. I'm gonna go ahead and take my skillet and add some olive oil to it. To the olive oil, I'm going to add um, oregano. Doesn't take a huge amount. And I'm going to go ahead and let that heat for about maybe 15, 20 seconds. And then um, once that's heated, um, I'm going to go ahead and add a serving of this pasta and some beans. Then I will toss in the basil and finally add the lemon juice. Yeah. You know what, I'm just gonna add the whole thing. And a little more oregano, in that case, a little more olive oil. Stir this around a little bit, and then add some beans. To have kind of a nice mixture of beans and pasta. <clears throat> so <clears throat> this all is sauteed together a little bit. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and add basil. Ooh, that smells good. That smells really good. And then from here, um, I'm just going to squeeze maybe half a lemon onto the top and then we plate it and present it. And... So I'm gonna just take this, you could use a slotted spoon or you could find some other way of, of keeping the seeds out. But these, this particular lemon is pretty full of seeds, so. Stir it around one more time. And there we go. I'm just gonna take a little bit. 
That was delicious. And so here we have the basic dish. You can see there's a nice set of beans on top. And all that's left is for us to garnish it. So I'm going to garnish it with a nice sprig of basil sitting on the top like that. There we have it. Pasta fajula. And there we have pasta fajula. There are a couple important tips I'd give about making this successfully at home. The first one is beans are a great piece of uh, great something great to use, but they take a lot of time to cook. So as here, I made extra, you should too. Um, it means that you have a lot more uh, things that you can do with beans around the kitchen. Make a bunch of beans, um, save them for a week, use them in a variety of foods, works really well. Um, second thing is, uh, I cooked the pasta in the bean water because the bean water ends up with a lot more flavor, and so that lends a lot more flavor to the pasta itself. Third, um, this is a fairly light dish, so it's great for summer. It's great for, um, for times when you don't want some real heavy food. Um, so plan that accordingly. And so now the ultimate test, the taste test. So this dish comes off as very light and lightly flavored. You have the flavor from the basil with just a hint of lemon and uh, the olive oil mixing very nicely with the lighter flavor of these white beans and the pasta itself. The beans themselves uh, have produced a flavor that's infused the pasta as I cooked it. And What's left is a really, really, really wonderful light summer dish. This is delicious. Hope you enjoy it. Bon appetit.